It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Could you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbors, and welcome back to the neighborhood. We continue our time together, as we always do in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue with our history of the hymn today, as we look at that hymn from, written by Isaac Watts in 1719, entitled, O God, Our Help in Ages Past. And our verses that inspired this hymn come from Psalm 90, verses 1 and 2. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Another hymn in Isaac Watts 1719, Psalms of David Imitated, is based on Psalm 90 and is perhaps Watts' most embracing hymn. It was played on the radio by the BBC as soon as World War II was declared and was later sung at the funeral service of Winston Churchill. Some of the original verses have fallen into disuse. But as you hear this hymn, think of the ailing hymnist sitting at the desk in his room on the Abney estate, poring over Psalm 90 and penning the favorite, favorite and famous words, O oh God, our help in ages past.
course you know the famous lines, Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Thy word commands our flesh to dust. Return, ye sons of men. All nations rose from earth at first and turned to earth again is one of the lesser known verses. Like flowery fields, the nations stand, pleased with the morning light. The flowers beneath the mower's hand lie withering ere tis might, is another lesser known verse. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be thou our guard while troubles last and our eternal home. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that no matter what we may be up against, your promises stand true. And often when we're facing hard seasons, it may seem easier to complain about everything than to offer you praise. And yet all of the verses of your word remind us again of all that we can be thankful for. Your lasting truths never change based on how we're doing day by day or what we may be walking through at any certain time. You are a sure foundation. You are a compassionate and gracious God. Your love for us is so great. Thank you for your forgiveness and the blessings you've given us in our lives. We love you, Lord, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And as we always do on our midweek devotions, when our faith is weak, Lord, teach us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven. When we are inclined to forget about you, Lord, teach us to pray, hallowed be thy name. When we feel pessimistic about our lives and about the state of the world, Lord, teach us to pray, thy kingdom come. And when we have difficult decisions to make and are tempted to take the easy way out, Lord, teach us to pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we complain about little upsets and forget that millions of people are poor and hungry, Lord, teach us to pray. Give us this day our daily bread. And when we are worried about our sins and find it hard to forgive those who sin against us, Lord, teach us to pray. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And when we are troubled by temptation, Lord, teach us to pray. Lead us not into temptation. And when we find it hard to cope, Lord, teach us to pray, but deliver us from evil. And when we are preoccupied with ourselves and our own glory, Lord, teach us to pray. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. And I've always wanted to live in the neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. And since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Again, thanks for spending time together, as we always do. Tell someone that Jesus loves them, remind them of that, that you care about them, and invite them to worship with you at the big church on the corner. Amen.
It's you I like It's not the things you wear It's not the way you do your hair But it's you I like The way you are right now The way down deep inside you Not the things that hide you Not your toys They're just beside you But it's you I like Every part of you Your skin Your eyes Your feelings Whether old or new I hope that you'll remember Even when you're feeling blue That it's you I like It's you yourself It's you It's you It's you I like, it's you yourself, it's you, it's you.